now? Ah, uh, yeah, I hear myself. It is good. Hello, everyone. I will say it also, marhaba, because I speak Arabic. Um, I'm glad that you are here. It's nice, actually, we are kind of a small group because this uh, session is, um, is about collaboration. And I wanted to have this session as kind of a discussion and finding out what everyone is doing and uh, to have an idea how we can connect and work on the same sometimes ideas. A lot of time I, we found ourselves in the foundation working with affiliates and different affiliates working on the same idea and everyone have a different approach and every approach is good, but people don't know about it. So. I will start from the beginning. My name is Manar. I am from Movement Comes, from the foundation. And I work in, as a regional specialist for the Middle East and North, North Africa. And this session is about collaboration. And I would like to start it that everyone introduce themselves here, where they come from. And uh, after we can start discussing the work that we are doing. I will start with Women first. <laughs> the right, on the right, sit on your right. Uh, yes, I'm Prue from uh, Wikimedia Australia, uh, just finished on the board there. I've uh, been involved with the ESIAP region as it's developed and definitely agree that lots of people across the world are doing the same thing at the same time and we're not learning and i'm a teacher i like to learn and a librarian so like uh, us to learn from each other and to document things in a way that others can find it thank you um hi i'm belinda i'm also from wikimedia australia um, i'm a little newer to the movement i know prue has extensive experience so i've been trying to learn from her but i'm here to learn from other people and hear what's happening what are you doing where are you doing similar things at the same time um, i'm also have been on the ecap interim hub uh, committee for the last eight, nine months. So yeah, really interested in looking at what we can do regionally, but also more globally as well. So thank you. Hey y'all, um, my name is Eric and I'm based in the United States. Um, new to the movement, first Wikimania, so it's been really great. Um, and I work for a nonprofit in the United States. We focus on Latinos in the US um, and we're looking to figure we did some research last year that showed that Wikipedia, not surprisingly, is like the number one source for Latinos in the US, uh, but not many are involved in the movement. So we're very curious to, you know, learn from others, see what we can do and be part of the movement. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Ses Lopes and uh, from Wikimedia Nigeria. I'm project manager at Wiki in Africa and uh, also the Wikimedia in residence for Africa Knowledge Initiative. And currently, I'm particularly interested in this uh, discussion because I'm currently on the co-organizing team for the upcoming Wikimedia Youth Conference. So we actually need to know how to um, rope in as many young people as possible to be able <laughs> to join us. I, I was heartbroken when I met the guys from Wikimedia Hispania. And they told me that they were, or they are, the last line of Wikimedians in Spain. They were now up to five. Just maybe three persons. So of course, we'll be having the uh, Wikimedia East Conference in Spain to give them a lifeline, you know, because it, it, it would be depressing to know that a country like Spain with all that heritage spread across doesn't have a Wikimedian. So yeah, I'm glad to be here. Thanks. Hello. Uh, hello everyone. My name is Gosi. I'm from Indonesia. Uh, my role in the movement is Regional Grand Committee for Asia Region. Uh, currently, I'm involving in Balinas Wikimedia community, which is like why, where I live now, and I also involved in Wikidata Indonesia community. So, yes, this is also my first Wikimania. It's have been great. 
Yes. Uh, and I want to learn a lot from the other region because, you know, I will back to where I live and then share the knowledge from here. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So, I'm Mao Tong. Um, I'm co-founder of Benin User Group. So, right now I have two hats. Uh, my volunteer hat and also working at the foundations and the movement communication. Yeah, so uh, I think we are doing a lot of things in our regions, in our communities. And we used to say, don't reinvent the wheel. So it's important that we share and see how we can, uh, you know, work together. Yeah. Bonjour tout le monde. Je m'appelle Esena. Je viens du Sénégal. Au Sénégal, il n'y a pas encore un user group, mais on travaille pour que ça puisse arriver. Et nous faisons pas mal d'activités. Cette année, on en a organisé deux. Et grâce à la Wikimania, on espère avoir des connexions pour faire d'autres activités et créer un user group actif. Merci. That's a great. If you didn't understand, I can say she comes from Senegal, and in Senegal they don't have a user group yet. But this year they have done two activities, and they are hoping with Wikimania to actually evolve their activities and what they are doing. So this is in short. Yeah, <laughs> I speak French as well. That's why. <laughs> um, so that's a great actually because we have ECAP, we have from United States, we have from the Middle East, we have from Africa and I think uh, one of the things that is um, significant in our work now is how to attract youth in our work and I think this is one of the issues that everyone in every region are working on how to have more youth in the movement more involved um, when we see that the Wikimedian of the year actually is uh, so young it give us hope that was great to see so young uh, congratulations Indonesia for the work uh, um, but um, I would like to see um, a lot of uh, user groups and affiliates working in different projects uh, and there's education, GLAM and other projects uh, and I would like to hear from you um, uh, everyone very short as well ha what are projects are you working on like a one main project and perhaps we can see here some uh, uh, maybe people working in the same project or the same idea or the same uh, 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 frame of, of work and uh, and experience it as i said uh, this discussion is more about working together talking and uh, i have uh, not bringing, I, I'm bringing like facilitating this work together to learn because um, I think the needs, uh, no matter where in each region, almost the same. If we have young people, to have more people involved in the movement and how to convert people to be actually uh, Wikimedians, uh, not just reading Wikipedia. Uh, and also, I think, to attract people to other projects in uh, Wikimedia, not just Wikipedia, which is like the most famous one. Um, in a quick, uh, if we can say one project, that main one you are working on, and perhaps we can find some share uh, ideas or projects together, uh, please feel free to ask questions each other. If you have anything to ask, if you want to ask more, to learn more, uh, this is an interactive session, as I said, and um, I'll be happy to give the mic to the person who would like to share um, an idea they are working on or maybe a problem they want to solve and maybe other regions already have faced this problem and they solved it. So, um, the other hat I wear is, um, you know, partnerships lead for Igbo Wikimedians user group in Nigeria. Uh, currently in Nigeria, we we are struggling with um, policies. So that's sort of um, woke us up about advocacy and how to go about it. Uh, as of March 17th this year, 
uh, there is no more um, freedom of panorama in Nigeria. Nobody was consulted. Whereas we have a national orientation agency that should have done serious conversations with stakeholders. But no, they didn't do that. They just, you know, went to bed, woke up the next morning, made the announcement. We even, you know, asked around to know maybe some copyright members of Nigerian Bar Association were contacted. Nobody had anything. And then the lawmakers just poof out of the blue removed the freedom of panorama so uh for us we have decided uh to go you know the other way like to circumnavigate because in 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 nigeria it's not somewhere you could easily you know engage the government heads on you know you could lose your head <laughs> <laughs> so we with that i'm oh, sorry <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 with that, we, we became more creative. How do I mean? So I started working out a plan for my user group, which we have also um, proposed to other user groups in the region. Uh, we go through partnerships with universities and public educational institutions. So the idea is to at least for us in Igbo Wikimedians as a group, is to make sure we have a wiki fan club in any institution where Igbo language is being taught. Mm -hmm. So that has worked so far. I've been able to secure about um, three partnerships this year with three public universities. Uh, each of them, they give us a space with their uh, computers and all that. Maybe sometimes we get in internet by ourselves uh, and sometimes maybe we'll buy um, diesel for the generator because we don't have constant electricity. So, but they they are open to, you know, help us engage their students and all that. So, but we've not told them our main objective yet. You know, you can't just tell them because it could throw them off. Why? Because in somewhere like, um, Africa, they see the wiki as maybe a tool, you know, that is against a lot of things governance there s stands for. But then they also ap appreciate its offering in terms of education and open knowledge. So we going through these um, partnerships with the universities is for a long term impact of being able to influence policies through these institutions instead of, let's say, calling the lawmaker of my senatorial district, who might never give me an audience. But these universities, they are the ones responsible for research that the government needs. They are the ones responsible for making recommendations around education, for instance, to the government and whatnot. So we found out that it's easier engaging them. The last one we had at one of the uh, new federal universities in Eastern Nigeria, the vice chancellor was there and I, I milked the opportunity. <laughs> I milked the opportunity to, you know, tell him what we are about. And they gave us a whole, a whole gallery for editing. And now they are working on making sure we have stable internet there. So this is how we hope to, you know, climb that wall to where we can have our say around policies through these public institutions and it's working so far thank you that's a great i think um one of the things most of um, user groups work with as universities and uh, i would like to hear from others if you are working with universities and how is that experience for you i can tell in the middle east is working uh, very successfully, for example, in Palestine, most of the activities are happening in universities because there we can find the public to attract young people as there is no other frames also for young people to be in no centers or other things like that. So I would love to hear if someone else have uh, an experience with universities and how did uh, it started. Um, in Australia, um, we have 
pretty much just completed a project. In fact, it's my colleague's project, so <laughs> I'm going to steal his, his ideas and explain them here. Hopefully he doesn't mind. Um, he found, um, I think we find, especially linking back to youth and young people, it needs to be something that appeals to their interests. So um, James uh, did a music project, um, which he pretty much started on his own and did an internship um, at the Australian Performing Arts Centre and has done some Wikipedia page. Like but that has slowly grown over 18 months or so. And just recently we were contacted by a university in Sydney who um, – University of Sydney and the University of Technology Sydney um, – who have seen the results of his work and um, the music project and they wanted to um, – create a club for students so we haven't quite created the club yet but we did do one editathon. Um, they also had the idea that um, to appeal to people, editathon is not a great word, it makes people think they're sitting typing for 24 hours <laughs> and they wanted to challenge misinformation and have something where they could say we have made um, an impact so they changed the name to the music correctathon um, and had some lecturers come in um, and some a few students, but we're hoping that in time this will grow. So they, um, we ran a workshop, taught how to edit Wikipedia pages, um, talked about uploading images, talked about copyright, um, and we're hoping that this will slowly now grow into, um, they're going to call it, I think, the Record Correctors um, Club. So we think we're hoping um, that the lecturers have also said they have many students who will be interested in this. Um, and we're hoping that that will be one way we can gather or sort of gain interest from younger people to join. But it is something that we are looking at in Australia. I feel like we also have an issue with editor retention. Um, it's strange. We have seen some stats recently where Australia has a very high editor rate, but they don't really engage as a community and not teaching young people, not um, passing on the information to future generations. So. If we want a sustainable movement, we need to be training more young people to come through. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be in the same situation as Spain, where gradually, gradually, people are, you know, leaving or are moving away from the movement, and there won't be people coming through to replace them. So, yeah, I think, I think there's something in. Is there an aspect that appeals to young people? Is it music? Is it their own culture? Is it Language. What is? What are the things that interest young people to get their attention, um, and then slowly <laughs> build on their interest? So that's just a quick snapshot from Australia. Something we're still working on, but yeah. Thank you. Anyone else would like to share what they are doing with uh, youth? So just uh, look at what. Yeah. Uh, so Wiki in Africa, of course, is South African NGO, but then. We have this project that we call um, Wiki Challenge Echo the Freak. Uh, so currently we run it in about nine francophone countries. So what we do uh, on the project is we teach nine to 13 year olds how to contribute to Wikidia. Wikidia is the kiddies version of Wikipedia. So we've been doing this project with uh, Fondation Orange for some years now. And uh, I joined Wiki in Africa in 2021 and it's been massive success. But then it got to a stage I felt like, is this only good for Francophone kids? How about Anglophone African kids? And I was able to convince my boss to, you know, see the value and Currently, we are trying to curate uh, the projects in the English-speaking region of Africa. So what do we aim to achieve with that? Now, those kids uh, would probably be in their, what, 2025, 20, within the next few years. But then they already know how the encyclopedia works because it's a contest, right? It's a writing contest these kids are being put in groups to write articles about anything that fascinates them just like you mentioned some will write about food 
local cuisine, some culture, masquerade, dance, and all that. And we also let them take pictures to attach to the articles. And these kids, these kids will blow your mind. If you go through Wikidia for French, they will blow your mind. You know, they have this wild imagination, you know, and we, we saw that reflected on the winning articles from over the years. So by engaging these kids, we've engaged uh, a lot of schools, you know, a lot of um, secondary schools. And this is something I feel that uh, maybe, you know, people that are aiming to get young people involved should also think about. Why? Because the, 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 the benefit might not be imminent, you know, but then within the next five years, you already have, like for uh, Tunisia, for instance, those that were involved since 2018 are now showing up to be part of the activities happening across Tunisia. Some would join the people going on photo work and all that. So it's like an investment for the future. Thank you. Ok, merci. Donc, euh, moi, je suis à la base de bibliothécaire. Et du coup, lorsqu'on a appris à contribuer sur Wikipédia ou à organiser des événements, on s'est dit oui, il faudrait qu'on implique notre environnement le plus proche. Parfois, ils répondent, mais après, ils ne continuent pas par contribuer. Alors que nous, nous voudrions euh, créer une communauté, justement, avec les professionnels de l'information documentaire, parce que justement, ils travaillent dans des institutions où ils ont des sources et ils ont beaucoup d'informations à mettre sur Wiki ou Wikidata en particulier. Donc, euh, peut-être que certains parmi vous travaillent avec une communauté très proche et qu'ils arrivent à les fidéliser. Et vous pouvez partager avec nous aussi comment vous le faites pour qu'au retour, on puisse euh, implanter vos stratégies et avoir des résultats aussi. Okay, so I will translate. Um, so she's a librarian, and she said that uh, they used to do uh, many activities, and there are a lot of participants. But what they observe, and I, I'm that, and is that after the workshop, people don't continue editing. You know, they also try to have partnership with information professionals, uh, so that they can put all the references, sources they have on Wiki project. So about the um, editor retention, she wants to know what are your tips, how do you deal with this in your community? So she, she expects to, to learn from your, from your experience and then to implement when she'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one million dollar question, I think. <laughs> um, I think it's uh, great because we started with universities. We also touched the uh, 9 to 13 years old kids. Uh, we also talked about editing retentions, which is are the main things actually that we are facing as challenges in the movement. Um, Eric, you would like to add something or you would like to add something on this topic uh, as well before we start tackling actually the question of how we can succeed to track people and keep the editing attention, how we do that. So. Okay, I will share uh, the Wikimedia movement within my country, which is Indonesia. Uh, usually we have a community based on uh, where we live, the place, and then change its uh, community based on language, and then Wikidata come in, Wikisource come in, and then community based on thematic. <laughs> but now, yeah, it is. I think it is a trend. Uh, last year, we have like a community based on university. So yeah, this can be uh, uh, for the university people. And then uh, I will share uh, what I work in the regional grant committee. Uh, 
uh, I think two or three couple of months ago, uh, I reviewed the proposal. There's not uh, the the target for the proposal is not really written in the proposal, but uh, after the feedback, uh, they uh, they give me uh, explanation that this program will be collaboration with the university. So yeah. I think it is good to know that uh, people is aware for the editor attention and yes, they, they know how to do it. And yes, it is a trend to collaborate with the formal education. Can I just finish off, ask the question about um, the nine to 13 year old. So when you went, to English speaking, is that right? Or to an African language? Which the French, yes. Um, but now you've broadened? Yeah, so there is a um, Wikipedia in mm -hmm. French. There is Wikipedia in English. So right. we've been running this on the Wikipedia in French. Yeah. So now we want to move, to yes, and be running both at once. Right, yeah. Not, doesn't need to be just Africa though. It could be. It could be anywhere. It could be anywhere, but then the aim, right, is uh, to, you know, foster digital inclusion in rural areas. The, the, the schools we engage are schools in rural areas where there are no electricity and uh, no internet. So, exactly, so we use um, Wikifundi, which is a software developed by Wiki in Africa uh, for offline editing. And then we support that with um, power banks, you know. So Indonesia. <laughs> I do, you know, it's, it's, it's very ideal in somewhere like Indonesia. And uh, what was his name? This guy from uh, Wiki Project Med from Canada. I've, I've forgotten his name. So he's doing something. In, it's called um, Internet in a Box. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. So that's, um, you know, a project that could benefit rural areas, you know, in Australia, maybe the Aborigin areas and things like that. Do you go or is it online? Or do you have to travel then? We do, but we minimize the travel. So this is how it works. We have Wikimedia networks in most African countries. So what we do is we get the Wikimedians to train the teachers right and then the wikimedian and the teachers would you know sort of help the students through the whole thing and then maybe when it's a prize given or award given we go to the school of maybe the winners you know to give the award because we have international winners we have national winners I think uh, national international winners get like uh, 5000 euros and then that could be given in kind by Orange Foundation to, you know, it's not given to the school principal or any, anybody. Yeah. If they need to paint or equip a library, the money goes straight. It serves a need for the school. So that's it. This is really great. Yeah. Uh, I think it's really great to hear this. I know that Wikipedia in Tunisia, I already saw some uh, with um, Habib and he showed me and I was like um, fascinated and uh, I hope it will arrive also one day to Arabic Wikipedia. We, um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And, um, but uh, the question of editing retention, if someone here have some magic answer for it. Not, not magic. <laughs> <laughs> so there is something we do. Uh, okay, to perform for Serbia. Okay, say, uh, okay. Okay, cool. Just for the interest, then to put it Maxi. So um, when we activate a wiki fan club, uh, what we do is to try to make the session as engaging as possible by perhaps showing them the basics. It could be translations across Wikipedia and get them to do it hands-on. 
right? After that, we, of course, gather the attendees on a WhatsApp platform, or could be Telegram, anyone you want. And then the, the following week, we already have them experiencing a new project. Could be Wiktionary, could be Wikicode. So the plan is to use the next two months to show them various projects that could be of interest to various persons there. You might not retain everybody, but you could get five or 10 persons who could tell you, oh, I love taking pictures. I love Wikimedia Commons. Or, oh, I love um, you know, structured data. I think I love uh, Wikidata. And someone will tell you, oh, I love Wiktionary. I love Wikicodes. So by you know, introducing them to various projects within the shortest time possible, it doesn't have to be two months. You can make it three months or four months. But use that time to spoil them with choices. That's the word. You know, spoil them. And by the time you've shown them like three to four or five Wikimedia projects, these guys would naturally select the ones they love most. So we've been doing this, and now not only do we have the you know, general Igbo Wikimedia platform, which is more like language-based community, we have Igbo Wikimedians Commons Club for those who love what photography and videography is offering on Wikimedia Commons. We also have Igbo Wikimedia Librarians Club for librarians. Now we also have Wikidata Club for Igbo Wikimedians. And trust me, we are the only user group in Nigeria where you see those who speak Igbo and those who don't. But they are part and parcel of the community and they contribute one way or the other. Take for instance, those who love um, taking pictures and uploading to um, Commons, they perhaps would upload that and tell somebody, oh, could you please help me put this caption in Igbo? And that works. So by the time you span their experience within the next three, four months, you would have shown them what there is, you know, beyond, let's say, Wikipedia. And for me, when I joined, I thought Wikipedia would be my first love. <laughs> but no, I love Wiktionary and Wikicode now more and I love Wikipedia. In fact, I've not gone to Wikipedia in a long while. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. Have a program that could show them our projects within the next three to four months. And with that, definitely you cannot retain everybody. When we had the last activation at the last um, federal university in Nigeria, we had 84 people in attendance, 54 on the WhatsApp platform. And now we've done training, uh, two training sessions, Wikicode, Wiktionary, I think. 25 consistently showed up. So you see from 84 down to 25 who are active. Now, of course, we are helping them out with a micro grant for maybe the next two months. So let's see if out of the 25, maybe, what, 15? Could be much more consistent. So that's how it, it goes. Within the shortest span of time, show them what the wiki projects have to offer. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So can I just make a comment? Um, we are running out of time already. OK. So let's make a wrap up and continue the discussions uh, during uh, the, the lunch. I think it's um, sorry, everyone. I, you see, I think ideas and discussion like that really need more time. Um, thank you, everyone, for attending. Uh, I hope this was a little bit helpful and give you some ideas of things to do. And um, the idea is actually when this session is finished, the work starts. So which means like I would appreciate, I mean, if you talk to each other, learn from each other, share the ideas what you do. Uh, I mean, we shared a bit here, and I think there is more to share. That will be great. Thanks. Thank you, Mana, for putting this kind of session on, because I think it's so important to have discussion and not just listening. Um, 
one thing we can do is have this online ongoing. I know time difference is not <laughs> – time zone is a problem, but uh, capacity building for organisers, for libraries particularly, um, the user group has not done anything online for two years and we need to change that. So um, for libraries we'll start, but I think for editor retention, for programs with primary school, secondary school, universities, it would be great. Thanks. That's a good idea. We'll work on it. Maybe we'll have it soon <laughs> to do something collaboration, lab collaboration online once maybe every two months. So we can have people from all around maybe to come in and talk about what they are doing and see. As we said, it's editing retention, it's collaboration retention. We'll see how many people are learning. Exactly. That, that's the whole idea from this is to connect. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. Now we just realized the name. Oh, we yeah. even yeah. Yes, we even so